The Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest and most powerful particle collider, built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research from 1998 to 2008. Its aim is to allow physicists to test the predictions of different theories of particle physics and high-energy physics, and particularly prove or disprove the existence of the theorized Higgs particle and of the large family of new particles predicted by supersymmetric theories. The Higgs particle was confirmed by data from the LHC in 2013. The LHC is expected to address some of the unsolved questions of physics, advancing human understanding of physical laws. It contains seven detectors, each designed for certain kinds of research. The LHC was built in collaboration with over 10,000 scientists and engineers from over 100 countries, as well as hundreds of universities and laboratories. It lies in a tunnel 27 kilometers in circumference, as deep as 175 meters beneath the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva, Switzerland. As of 2014, the LHC remains one of the largest and most complex experimental facilities ever built. Its synchrotron is designed to initially collide two opposing particle beams of either protons at up to 7 iteré electron volts per nucleon or lead nuclei at an energy of 574 TeV per nucleus, with energies to be doubled to around 14 TeV collision in a euro more than seven times any predecessor collider a euro by around 2015. Collision data were also anticipated to be produced at an unprecedented rate of tens of petabytes per year, to be analyzed by a grid-based computer network infrastructure connecting 140 computing centers in 35 countries. The LHC went live on September 10, 2008, with proton beams successfully circulated in the main ring of the LHC for the first time, but nine days later a faulty electrical connection led to the rupture of a liquid helium enclosure, causing both a magnet quench and several tons of helium gas escaping with explosive force. The incident resulted in damage to over 50 superconducting magnets and their mountings, and contamination of the vacuum pipe and delayed further operations by 14 months. On November 20, 2009 proton beams were successfully circulated again, with the first recorded proton a euro proton collisions occurring three days later at the injection energy of 450 a GeV per beam. On March 30, 2010, the first collisions took place between two 3.5 a TeV beams, setting a world record for the highest energy man-made particle collisions, and the LHC began its planned research program. By November 2012, the LHC had discovered two previously unobserved particles, botomonium state and a massive 125 GeV boson, created a quark a gluon plasma, and recorded the first observations of the very rare decay of the BS meson into two muons. The LHC operated at 3.5 TeV per beam in 2010 and 2011 and at 4 TeV in 2012. It operated for two months in 2013 colliding protons with lead nuclei, and went into shutdown for upgrades to increase beam energy to 6.5 TeV per beam, with reopening planned for early 2015. Background The term hadron refers to composite particles composed of quarks held together by the strong force. The best known hadrons are protons and neutrons. Hadrons also include mesons such as the pionenkin, which were discovered during cosmic ray experiments in the late 1940s and early 1950s. A collider is a type of a particle accelerator with directed beams of particles. In particle physics colliders are used as a research tool, they accelerate particles to very high kinetic energies and let them impact other particles. Analysis of the byproducts of these collisions gives scientists good evidence of the structure of the subatomic world and the laws of nature governing it. Many of these byproducts are produced only by high energy collisions, and they decay after very short periods of time. Thus, many of them are hard or near impossible to study in other ways. Purpose Physicists hope that the LHC will help answer some of the fundamental open questions in physics concerning the basic laws governing the interactions and forces among the elementary objects, the deep structure of space and time, and in particular the interrelation between quantum mechanics and general relativity, where current theories and knowledge are unclear or break down altogether. 
data are also needed from high-energy particle experiments to suggest which versions of current scientific models are more likely to be correct a euro in particular to choose between the standard model and Higgs-less models and to validate their predictions and allow further theoretical development. Many theorists expect new physics beyond the standard model to emerge at the TeV energy level, as the standard model appears to be unsatisfactory. Issues possibly to be explored by LHC collisions include, are the masses of elementary particles actually generated by the Higgs mechanism by electroweak symmetry breaking? It is expected that the collider will either demonstrate or rule out the existence of the elusive Higgs boson, thereby allowing physicists to consider whether the standard model or its Higgsless alternatives are more likely to be correct. Is supersymmetry, an extension of the standard model and Pu and Kara copyright symmetry, realized in nature, implying that all known particles have supersymmetric partners? Are there extra dimensions, as predicted by various models based on string theory, and can we detect them? What is the nature of the dark matter that appears to account for 27% of the mass energy of the universe? Other open questions that may be explored using high-energy particle collisions, it is already known that electromagnetism and the weak nuclear force are different manifestations of a single force called the electroweak force. The LHC may clarify whether the electroweak force and the strong nuclear force are similarly just different manifestations of one universal unified force, as predicted by various ground unification theories. Why is the fourth fundamental force so many orders of magnitude weaker than the other three fundamental forces? See also hierarchy problem. Are there additional sources of quark flavor mixing, beyond those already predicted within the standard model? Why are there apparent violations of the symmetry between matter and antimatter? See also CP violation. What are the nature and properties of quark a gluon plasma, believed to have existed in the early universe and in certain compact and strange astronomical objects today? This will be investigated by heavy ion collisions analysis, design. The LHC is the world's largest and highest energy particle accelerator. The collider is contained in a circular tunnel, with a circumference of 27 kilometers, at a depth ranging from 50 to 175 meters underground. The 3.8 meter wide concrete line tunnel, constructed between 1983 and 1988, was formerly used to house the large electron Euro positron collider. It crosses the border between Switzerland and France at four points, with most of it in France. Surface buildings hold ancillary equipment such as compressors, ventilation equipment, control electronics and refrigeration plants. The collider tunnel contains two adjacent parallel beam lines that intersect at four points, each containing a proton beam, which travel in opposite directions around the ring. Some 1,232 dipole magnets keep the beams on their circular path, while an additional 392 quadrupole magnets are used to keep the beams focused, in order to maximize the chances of interaction between the particles in the four intersection points, where the two beams will cross. In total, over 1,600 superconducting magnets are installed, with most weighing over 27 tons. Approximately 96 tons of superfluid helium-4 is needed to keep the magnets, made of copper-clad niobium-titanium, at their operating temperature of 1.9 K, making the LHC the largest cryogenic facility in the world at liquid helium temperature. When running at full design power of 70 EV per beam, once or twice a day, as the protons are accelerated from 450 GeV to 70 TeV, the field of the superconducting dipole magnets will be increased from 0.54 to 8.3 teslas. The protons will each have an energy of 7 TeV, giving a total collision energy of 14 TeV. At this energy the protons have a Lorentz factor of about 7500 and move at about 0.9999999991 ac, or about 3 meters per second slower than the speed of light. It will take less than 90 microseconds for a proton to travel once around the main ring at a euro a speed of about 11,000 revolutions per second. Rather than continuous beams, the protons will be bunched together, into 2,808 bunches, 
115 billion protons in each bunch so that interactions between the two beams will take place at discrete intervals never shorter than 25 nanoseconds apart. However it will be operated with fewer bunches when it is first commissioned, giving it a bunch crossing interval of 75 nanoseconds. The design luminosity of the LHC is 1034 Kma 2 ZAR1, providing a bunch collision rate of 40 MHz. Prior to being injected into the main accelerator, the particles are prepared by a series of systems that successively increase their energy. The first system is the linear particle accelerator LINAC2 generating 50 MeV protons, which feeds the proton synchrotron booster. There the protons are accelerated to 1.4 GeV and injected into the proton synchrotron, where they are accelerated to 26 GeV. Finally the superproton synchrotron is used to further increase their energy to 450 GeV before they are at last injected into the main ring. Here the proton bunches are accumulated, accelerated to their peak 40 EV energy, and finally circulated for 10 to 24 hours while collisions occur at the four intersection points. The LHC physics program is mainly based on proton a euro proton collisions. However, shorter running periods, typically one month per year, with heavy ion collisions are included in the program. While lighter ions are considered as well, the baseline scheme deals with lead ions. The lead ions will be first accelerated by the linear accelerator LINAC3, and the low energy ion ring will be used as an ion storage and cooler unit. The ions will then be further accelerated by the PS and SPS before being injected into LHC ring, where they will reach an energy of 2.76 TeV per nucleon, higher than the energies reached by the relativistic heavy ion collider. The aim of the heavy ion program is to investigate quark a eurogluon plasma, which existed in the early universe. Detectors Seven detectors have been constructed at the LHC, located underground in large caverns excavated at the LHC's intersection points. Two of them, the Atlas experiment and the compact muon solenoid, are large, general-purpose particle detectors. A large ion collider experiment and LHCB have more specific roles and the last three, Totem, Moedal and LHCF, are very much smaller and are for very specialized research. The BBC's summary of the main detectors is, Computing and Analysis Facilities. The LHC Computing Grid is an international collaborative project that consists of a grid-based computer network infrastructure connecting 140 computing centers in 35 countries. It was designed by CERN to handle the significant volume of data produced by LHC experiments. By 2012 data from over 300 trillion LHC proton-proton collisions had been analyzed. LHC collision data was being produced at approximately 25 petabytes per year, and the LHC computing grid had become the world's largest computing grid comprising over 170 computing facilities in a worldwide network across 36 countries. Operational history, inaugural tests, the first beam was circulated through the collider on the morning of September 10, 2008. CERN successfully fired the protons around the tunnel in stages, three kilometers at a time. The particles were fired in a clockwise direction into the accelerator and successfully steered around it at 10.28 local time. The LHC successfully completed its major test, after a series of trial runs. Two white dots flashed on a computer screen showing the protons traveled the full length of the collider. It took less than one hour to guide the stream of particles around its inaugural circuit. CERN next successfully sent a beam of protons in a counterclockwise direction, taking slightly longer at one and a half hours due to a problem with the cryogenics, with the full circuit being completed at 1459. 2008 Quinch Incident, on September 19, 2008. A magnet quench occurred in about 100 bending magnets in sectors 3 and 4, where an electrical fault led to a loss of approximately 6 tons of liquid helium, which was vented into the tunnel. The escaping vapor expanded with explosive force, damaging over 50 superconducting magnets and their mountings, and contaminating the vacuum pipe, which also lost vacuum conditions. Shortly after the incident CERN reported that the most likely cause of the problem was a faulty electrical connection between two magnets, 
and theta euro due to the time needed to warm up the affected sectors and then cool them back down to operating temperature a euro it would take at least two months to fix. CERN released an interim technical report and preliminary analysis of the incident on 15 and 16 October 2008 respectively, and a more detailed report on December 5, 2008. The analysis of the incident by CERN confirmed that an electrical fault had indeed been the cause. The faulty electrical connection had led to a fail-safe power abort of the electrical systems powering the superconducting magnets, but had also caused an electric arc which damaged the integrity of the supercooled helium's enclosure and vacuum insulation, causing the coolant's temperature and pressure to rapidly rise beyond the ability of the safety systems to contain it, and leading to a temperature rise of about 100 degrees Celsius in some of the affected magnets. Energy stored in the superconducting magnets and electrical noise induced in other quench detectors also played a role in the rapid heating. Around two tons of liquid helium escaped explosively before detectors triggered an emergency stop, and a further four tons leaked at lower pressure in the aftermath. A total of 53 magnets were damaged in the incident and were repaired or replaced during the winter shutdown. In the original timeline of the LHC commissioning, the first modest high-energy collisions at a center of mass energy of 900 GeV were expected to take place before the end of September 2008, and the LHC was expected to be operating at 10 TeV by the end of 2008. However, due to the delay caused by the above-mentioned incident, the collider was not operational until November 2009. Despite the delay, LHC was officially inaugurated on October 21, 2008. In the presence of political leaders, science ministers from CERN's 20 member states, CERN officials, and members of the worldwide scientific community. Most of 2009 was spent on repairs and reviews from the damage caused by the Quinch incident, along with two further vacuum leaks identified in July 2009 which pushed the start of operations to November of that year. Full operation, on November 20, 2009, Low-energy beams circulated in the tunnel for the first time since the incident, and shortly after, on November 30, the LHC achieved 1.18 TeV per beam to become the world's highest energy particle accelerator, beating the Tevatran's previous record of 0.98 TeV per beam held for eight years. The early part of 2010 saw the continued ramp-up of beam in energies and early physics experiments towards 3.5 TeV per beam and on March 30, 2010, LHC set the present record for high-energy collisions by colliding proton beams at a combined energy level of 7 TeV. The attempt was the third that day, after two unsuccessful attempts in which the protons had to be dumped from the collider and new beams had to be injected. This also marked the start of its main research program. The first proton run ended on November 4, 2010. A run with lead iron started on November 8, 2010, and ended on December 6, 2010, allowing the ALICE experiment to study matter under extreme conditions similar to those shortly after the Big Bang. CERN originally planned that the LHC would run through to the end of 2012 with a short break at the end of 2011 to allow for an increase in beam energy from 3.5 to 4 TeV per beam. At the end of 2012 the LHC would be shut down until around 2015 to allow upgrade to a planned beam energy of 7 TeV per beam. In late 2012, in light of the July 2012 discovery of a new particle, the shutdown was postponed for some weeks into early 2013, to allow additional data to be obtained prior to shutdown. Timeline of operations, findings, CERN scientists estimated that, if the standard model is correct, a single Higgs boson would be produced every few hours, and that over a few years enough data to confirm or disprove the Higgs boson unambiguously and to obtain sufficient results concerning supersymmetric particles would be gathered to draw meaningful conclusions. Some extensions of the standard model predict additional particles, such as the heavy W and Z gauge bosons, which may also lie within reach of the LHC to discover. The first physics results from the LHC, involving 284 collisions which took place in the ALICE detector, were reported on December 15, 2009. 
the results of the first Protome-Euro-Proton collisions at energies higher than Fermi-Lebstevater and Protome-Euro-Antiproton collisions were published by the CMS collaboration in early February 2010, yielding greater than predicted charged hadron production. After the first year of data collection, the LHC experimental collaboration started to release their preliminary results concerning searches for new physics beyond the standard model and proton-proton collisions. No evidence of new particles was detected in the 2010 data. As a result, bounds were set on the allowed parameter space of various extensions of the standard model, such as models with large extra dimensions, constrained versions of the minimal supersymmetric standard model, and others. On May 24, 2011, it was reported that quark eurogluon plasma has been created in the LHC. Between July and August 2011, results of searches for the Higgs boson and for exotic particles, based on the data collected during the first half of the 2011 run, were presented in conferences in Grenoble and Mumbai. In the latter conference it was reported that, despite hints of a Higgs signal in earlier data, Atlas and CMS exclude with 95% confidence level the existence of a Higgs boson with the properties predicted by the standard model over most of the mass region between 145 and 466 GeV. The searches for new particles did not yield signals either, allowing to further constrain the parameter space of various extensions of the standard model, including its supersymmetric extensions. On December 13, 2011, CERN reported that the standard model Higgs boson, if it exists, is most likely to have a mass constraint to the range 115 a Euro 130 GeV. Both the CMS and ATLAS detectors have also shown intensity peaks in the 124 a Euro 125 GeV range, consistent with either background noise or the observation of the Higgs boson. On December 22, 2011, it was reported that a new particle had been observed, the IB botomonium state. On July 4, 2012, both the CMS and ATLAS teams announced the discovery of a boson in the mass region around 125 a Euro 126 GeV, with a statistical significance at the level of 5 sigma. This meets the formal level required to announce a new particle which is consistent with the Higgs boson but scientists are cautious as to whether it is formally identified as actually being the Higgs boson, pending further analysis. On November 8, 2012, the LHCB team reported on an experiment seen as a golden test of supersymmetry theories in physics, by measuring the very rare decay of the BS meson into two muons. The results, which match those predicted by the non-supersymmetrical standard model rather than the predictions of many branches of supersymmetry, show the decays are less common than some forms of supersymmetry predict, though could still match the predictions of other versions of supersymmetry theory. The results as initially drafted are stated to be short of proof but at a relatively high 3.5 sigma level of significance. In August 2013 the team revealed an anomaly in the angular distribution of B meson decay products which could not be predicted by the standard model. This anomaly had a statistical certainty of 4.5 sigma, just short of the 5 sigma needed to be officially recognized as a discovery. It is unknown what the cause of this anomaly would be, although the Z boson has been suggested as a possible candidate. Proposed upgrade. After some years of running, any particle physics experiment typically begins to suffer from diminishing returns, as the key results reachable by the device begin to be completed. Later years of operation discover proportionately less than earlier years. A common outcome is to upgrade the devices involved, typically in energy, in luminosity, or in terms of improved detectors. As well as the plan 2013 a Euro 2015 increase to its intended 14 a TeV collision energy, a luminosity upgrade of the LHC, called the High Luminosity LHC, has also been proposed to be made in 2018 after 10 years of operation. The optimal path for the LHC luminosity upgrade includes an increase in the beam current and the modification of the two high luminosity interaction regions, ATLAS and CMS. To achieve these increases, the energy of the beams at the point that they are injected into the LHC should also be increased to 1 TeV. This will require an upgrade of the full pre-injector system, 
the needed changes in the super proton synchrotron being the most expensive. Currently the collaborative research effort of LHC Accelerator Research Program, LARP, is conducting research into how to achieve these goals. Cost. With a budget of 7.5 billion euros, the LHC is one of the most expensive scientific instruments ever built. The total cost of the project is expected to be of the order of 4.6 bn Swiss francs for the accelerator and 1.16 bn for the CERN contribution to the experiments. The construction of LHC was approved in 1995 with a budget of SFR 2.6 bn, with another SFR 210m towards the experiments. However, cost overruns, estimated in a major review in 2001 at around SFR 480m for the accelerator, and SFR 50M for the experiments, along with a reduction in CERN's budget, pushed the completion date from 2005 to April 2007. The superconducting magnets were responsible for SFR 180M of the cost increase. There were also further costs and delays due to engineering difficulties encountered while building the underground cavern for the compact muon solenoid, and also due to faulty parts provided by Fermilab. Due to lower electricity costs during the summer, it is expected that the LHC will normally not operate over the winter months, although an exception was made to make up for the 2008 startup delays over the 2009-10 winter. Computing resources, data produced by LHC, as well as LHC-related simulation, was estimated at approximately 15 petabytes per year. The LHC computing grid was constructed to handle the massive amounts of data produced. It incorporated both private fiber optic cable links and existing high-speed portions of the public Internet, enabling data transfer from CERN to academic institutions around the world. The open science grid is used as the primary infrastructure in the United States, and also as part of an interoperable federation with the LHC computing grid. The distributed computing project LHC at Home was started to support the construction and calibration of the LHC. The project uses the BOINC platform, enabling anybody with an Internet connection and a computer running Mac OS X, Windows or Linux, to use their computer's idle time to simulate how particles will travel in the tunnel. With this information, the scientists will be able to determine how the magnets should be calibrated to gain the most stable orbit of the beams in the ring. In August 2011, a second application went live which performs simulations against which to compare actual test data, to determine confidence levels of the results. Safety of particle collisions The experiments at the Large Hadron Collider sparked fears among the public that the particle collisions might produce doomsday phenomena involving the production of stable microscopic black holes or the creation of hypothetical particles called strangelets. Two CERN Commission safety reviews examined these concerns and concluded that the experiments at the LHC present no danger and that there is no reason for concern, a conclusion expressly endorsed by the American Physical Society. The reports also noted that the physical conditions and collision events which exist in the LHC and similar experiments occur naturally and routinely in the universe without hazardous consequences, including ultra-high energy cosmic rays observed to impact Earth with energies far higher than those in any man-made collider. Operational challenges The size of the LHC constitutes an exceptional engineering challenge with unique operational issues on account of the amount of energy stored in the magnets and the beams. While operating, the total energy stored in the magnets is 10 GJ and the total energy carried by the two beams reaches 724 mJ. Loss of only one ten millionth part of the beam is sufficient to quench a superconducting magnet, while the beam dump must absorb 362 mJ for each of the two beams. These energies are carried by very little matter, under nominal operating conditions, the beam pipes contain 1.0 A, 10 and 9 gram of hydrogen, which, in standard conditions for temperature and pressure, would fill the volume of one grain of fine sand. Construction accidents and delays On October 25, 2005, Jose Copyright Pereira Lags, a technician, was killed in the LHC when a switchgear that was being transported fell on him. On March 27, 2007 a cryogenic magnet support broke during a pressure test involving one of the LHC's inner triplet magnet assemblies, 
provided by Fermilab and KEK. No one was injured. Fermilab director Pierodon stated in this case we are dumbfounded that we missed some very simple balance of forces. This fault had been present in the original design, and remained during four engineering reviews over the following years. Analysis revealed that its design, made as thin as possible for better insulation, was not strong enough to withstand the forces generated during pressure testing. Details are available in a statement from Fermilab, with which CERN is in agreement. Repairing the broken magnet and reinforcing the eight identical assemblies used by LHC delayed the startup date, then planned for November 2007. Problems occurred on September 19, 2008 during powering tests of the main dipole circuit, when an electrical fault in the bus between magnets caused a rupture and a leak of six tons of liquid helium. The operation was delayed for several months. It is currently believed that a faulty electrical connection between two magnets caused an arc, which compromised the liquid helium containment. Once the cooling layer was broken, the helium flooded the surrounding vacuum layer with sufficient force to break 10-ton magnets from their mountings. The explosion also contaminated the proton tubes with soot. This accident was thoroughly discussed in a 22 of February 2010 Superconductor Science and Technology article by CERN physicist Lucio Rossi. Two vacuum leaks were identified in July 2009, and the start of operations was further postponed to mid-November 2009. Popular culture the Large Hadron Collider gained a considerable amount of attention from outside the scientific community and its progress is followed by most popular science media. The LHC has also inspired works of fiction including novels, TV series, and video games. The novel Angels and Demons, by Dan Brown, involves antimatter created at the LHC to be used in a weapon against the Vatican. In response CERN published a fact or fiction, Page discussing the accuracy of the book's portrayal of the LHC, CERN, and particle physics in general. The movie version of the book has footage filmed on site at one of the experiments at the LHC. The director, Ron Howard, met with CERN experts in an effort to make the science in the story more accurate. The novel Flash Forward, by Robert J. Sawyer, involves the search for the Higgs boson at the LHC. CERN published a science and fiction page interviewing Sawyer and physicists about the book and the TV series based on it. CERN employee Catherine McAlpine's Large Hadron Rap surpassed 7 million YouTube views. The band Les Horrible Sonnets was founded by women from CERN. The name was chosen so to have the same initials as the LHC. National Geographic Channel's World's Toughest Fixes, Season 2 Episode 6 Atom Smasher features the replacement of the last superconducting magnet section in the repair of the Super Collider after the 2008 quench incident. The episode includes actual footage from the repair facility to the inside of the Super Collider, and explanations of the function, engineering, and purpose of the LHC. The Large Hadron Collider was the focus of the 2012 student film Decay, with the movie being filmed on location in CERN's maintenance tunnels. Canadian rock musician, Nim Vind wrote and recorded a song called Hadron Collider. See also, Busi Euro Einstein Statistics, Compact Linear Collider, International Linear Collider, Very Large Hadron Collider, List of Accelerators in Particle Physics, High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider, References. External links, Official Website, Overview of the LHC at CERN's Public Web Page, CERN Courier Magazine. CERN on Twitter, CMS Experiment at CERN on Twitter, Unofficial CERN on Twitter, LHC Portal Web Portal, CERN, How It Works on YouTube, Lyndon Evans and Philip Bryant. LHC Machine. Journal of Instrumentation 3, SO8001. Bibcode, 2008 Ginst. 3S8001 EDOI. 10.10883S0801 A full documentation for design and construction of the LHC and its six detectors. Symmetry Magazine LHC Special Issue August 2006, Special Issue December 2007, New Yorker, Crash Course. The World's Largest Particle Accelerator. Nighttimes, A Giant Takes on Physics' Biggest Questions. Why a Large Hadron Collider?
Seed magazine interviews with physicists. 30 collected pictures during commissioning and post-September 19, 2008 incident repair, from Boston Globe. Podcast interview with Sens Rolf Lundewell about the LHC and the physics behind it, Peter Bites at the LHC. 60 symbols. Brady Heron for the University of Nottingham A. Eh?